So we are solving your brain here for Christ. Christ created the brain and look at the uh, gorgeous offsets of sixes to the glory of the Trinity. This is mind blowing. And our eye is an our eye in perfect central symmetry in both words. Our eye is half love, three times three times three, gorgeous, uh, perfect centrality. Now watch this, a T minus an N is plus six. An S minus an A is triple six, 18. And then an H minus a B is another six. <laughs> and then as if that three fest wasn't enough, you get this cherry at the front of all this that C equals three, the final cherry on top for the Trinity that Christ uh, created the brain. And he owns your brain. There you go. Glory to Jesus Christ. The current date and time for historic purposes is right there. It is the third day of the ninth month, 2016, to the glory of the Trinity on Saturday, Sabbath. There you go. So um, the grand offset is, of course, a very glaring number for three. No less, it's the famous all men equals 33. Equals all men equals name. So uh, there you go. In this video, we uh, proved mathematically that Christ created the brain. All men. And... Uh, now you can put the words the human in front and that divides by three so Christ over the human brain provides a nice tidy offset of one, two, three perfectly uh, to the glory of the Trinity because when you add the human in front that equals 90 okay and so 90 plus 33 is one, two, three to the glory of the Trinity so uh, Christ is Lord over the human brain and he created it to the glory of the Trinity perfect absolutely gorgeous um, <coughs> Very satisfying to, to solve that. Um, okay, that's that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's good. Another uh, <laughs> fun word that parallels Christ perfectly is your melon. <laughs> you know, your melon. <laughs> Work on your melon, son. So I can't resist pointing out some of the obvious here. Um, this is just silly, in fact. Like, this is going to blow your mind. This is even, this is just the same sixes. In fact, this, this is going to blow your mind, how, how identical this is. And you're going to appreciate the joy of Christ. Like, the melon is a fun word. To talk about, you know, uh, your brain. Oh, this is too good. Like, this is so good, I'm just happy as can be. Look at the sixes. I, I am going to literally shoot like uh, so many different six. Watch this. So an S and an M must be compared. They are the two plus ones. Okay. Bang. And lo and behold, this kick starts our operation. Just like the S and the A. Now the S and the A uh, one by 18 uh, points down here. I, I, I could color code all this for our satisfaction. Just doesn't take long. Um, and then maybe just paint that a little plus three, and then there's your final result. Um, but now look at the same thing for uh, Christ created your melon. <laughs> so an S down to an M is uh, plus six. Now, why don't I do the TN first? Because that's what we did up there. Let's, let's just do that first. And then I can just quickly copy this. And, um, in fact, this is gonna, this is actually silly, just how easy this is. So, a T down to an N plus six. Or a T is plus six over. And then an S is plus six over an M. And now, uh, this is so cool, because this is the part that just made me, uh, and I, I recognize that a C and H is six points over an E, and then the rest of this just it just gets crazy. So an I is um, six points less than an O. So we're kind of working from the back to the front here. And then R is uh, six points higher than an L. <laughs> and then the rest is flawlessly what it is. You have a um, the CH uh, being 
11 is six points higher than an E. So <laughs> is it just me <laughs> or is this a flawless <laughs> correlation of pure sixes between the five letters of M, E, L, O, N and the letters of Christ mathematically? Like Christ created your melon as in the home of your brain. Um, but he also created all the melons on planet Earth, like watermelon <laughs> and all the like honeydew melon and cantaloupe and all the melons you want to extrapolate. So that's that's just clear. Six, six, you know, six, six. So that, that grand offset is obviously plus eighteen. So there you go. Christ emphatically, emphatically. <laughs> has the market cornered on melons and every use of the word. Jesus created my melon, your melon, your sons and daughters melons, and he created your brain and everyone's brain. And we can all do the math on it for the Trinity and uh, fill your brain with his truth. And it's very good. Um, so Christ, and then Christ created like all the fruit melons and all that stuff and fruit equals Jesus and fruit parallels Christ. You know, seeing as we, we just we just proved that Christ created every melon, why don't we go a little bit higher and just, just squeeze some of the juice out of the fact that Christ created all fruit. Okay, so a T is a T. But now let's, let's shoot for some gorgeous offsets here. We must put the HS together. Uh, wow, an RI in Christ is the RI in fruit in the exact same position as brain. <laughs> most fruit is in fact very good for your brain so very obvious what God is up to here to glorify Christ in the brain and in all fruit <laughs> which word do you prefer brain or fruit I would take both okay um, and so we've done a lot of easy work already now this 20 this is so cool because shoot for differences of six um, this 27 from the HS uh, compares with the U in gorgeous centrality. Look at the centrality behind all this. Like this is just so centralizing, putting Christ over top of fruit. R I R I. T equals a T. <laughs> and then the H S is 27 minus the U, so Christ wins by plus six. And then in front is three here, six there. Okay, so fruit wins by three there. So of course, your net offset between Christ and fruit is exactly. Christ is three points over all fruit for Trinity. There you go. So Christ created fruit. He created your brain. Um, and it's all fantastic. Um, <laughs> and then Christ is the one who gave you life. Okay. So I prefer to uh, shoot for sixes as much as possible. So I'm going to do this. Um, uh, excuse me. I'm going to compare the CH minus an E is a 6. And then an ST is a 39 minus a um, 9 is a 30. You can do that. And then, well, it's pretty, it's amazing. Wow. You know, it's it's almost ridiculous. And then RI actually equals LIF. So, and then this differs by 6. So it's pretty obvious Christ created all life. Um, okay, cool. And then Christ is Lord over every fetus. Um, pretty obvious. 2 plus 2 is the 1 plus 1. There's your ST. And let's try and shoot for 6s, because that's what I've been seeing a lot of. In fact, here, look at this. Look at the 6s, and Christ is Lord over every fetus. A CH is six points higher than an E. And then this is so beautiful because an I compares to the U to make a, an offset of six. An I is 12 points less than a U. And then an R is 12 points greater than an F. Wow. So gorgeous, gorgeous sixes once again. Um, and then again, a T equals a T and an S equals an S. So literally, like, we, all five teams of, of the letters fetus, per, um, 
compared with Christ, make beautiful offsets of sixes. So that your grand total, of course, is that fetus uh, is six points less than Christ. Now I kind of did the pluses backwards in this case, so fetus is six points higher, but I was kind of going on different from what I've um, done down here. That's fine. So Christ owns every fetus. In fact, yeah, okay, you did, yeah. Um, and you can just keep going in this way, okay? Um, with Jesus and sperm and all the rest of it. Wow. It's just amazing to me how all these sixes are coming out. Like a J to a P, six. And E is an E. An S is an S. And then an S to an M, six. And then U, a U to an R, three. So, uh, okay, I think we've milked that pretty good. The core, center, foundation, root. Um, what other words? <laughs> core, center, we solved the gold mine. Um, you know, when you harvest a gem, you get the point at the bottom. Like, it's, you go to the extreme, uh, the center. Oh. oh, here's a great word for center that parallels Jesus. The axis. The central axis, we say. That is gorgeous. Axis for Jesus. Jesus, the Lord over every axis. It's like an S is an S, and then an S over an A is 18, and then a 15 versus an I is 6, and then X versus a U is 3. That's very similar to the word sperm in, in, in just the, the, the sheer different the teams that we got to make 21. Jesus is the central axis, you know. Okay. All right. We've got this one pretty nailed, um, and then rest parallels Christ. But it, it's so cool to to take the time to. I mean, it's just silly, like R S T R S T, rest in Christ, and then you know a C H is three points higher and very obvious. So you get a difference of twelve. Yeah. Or a difference of 15, pardon me. Oh, that would be six points plus three, Christ, rest. Okay. Core. Center. Now I'm like solving meteor showers. There's a lot of them divide by three. A lot. The pear seeds are, are for a local gem, the pear seeds are the most famous meteor shower where I live. And August 12th, the peak date. Look at Jesus in the pear seeds. This is so obvious, it's embarrassing. There's your love. And then an E is an E of Jesus. This is R divides by 3. And this corresponds with the U, that's 18. 
Jesus, the pear seeds. It's, it's um, plus 21 over Jesus. In fact, this ends in Jesus. The pear seeds, love. How many people have shared love by lying together watching the meteor shower? And then meteors parallels Jesus, just like showers, like it's just glaring. So meteors, showers, shower, meteors equals pear seeds, and showers is 12 points higher. Amazing. Meteors equals pear seeds. Like now you want to see this stuff, don't you? Ooh, I wonder if I can now crack the Aurora Borealis because I had solved Aurora equals Jesus, but now I can get Borealis. And then there's the Aurora Australis. And I can maybe solve, I could probably solve the common names as well now. I'll bet you I can. Northern Lights. So Aurora equals Jesus, very obvious. Very obvious. We might do a letter by letter breakdown of that one because it's so famous. So Aurora equals Jesus. Now Borealis divides by three. So in this case, Aurora Borealis is going to continue to parallel Jesus. And yes, it has more plus ones than plus twos, which means Aurora Borealis does exist for J E S U S. The Northern Lights. Here's your two plus twos. There's your plus threes, and then all the rest divide by three. And Aurora Borealis for Jesus. And, and Aurora Australis. There, there's the confirmation. Borealis is 81. Three times three times three times three. Australis is 120. Divides by three. And those are they have the hopscotch effect for threes in there. This is 59, 69, 51. This is 30, 51. This is amazing. So Jesus... Now I'm understanding Jesus takes the glory for the Aurora Borealis and the Aurora Australis. And look at all the plus ones, because Jesus is primarily plus ones, very sensual. The Aurora Australis are particularly sensual on the lips. Uh, and they have, uh, it looks to me like, two extra. Yeah, because these two plus ones co uh, compensate for the, the lost plus two. That is amazing. So for the first time in history, the Aurora Borealis are being solved for Jesus. Now this is huge because Aurora equals Jesus. But now you push higher and longer because you say the Aurora Borealis. So let's jump to the kisser. Let's write the equation. Aurora Borealis equals Jesus. Well, plus 81 because it's just simply what Borealis equals because Aurora equals Jesus. So Let's just get it on the board so it's official. That is how it works. But you can feel it on your lips, the plus ones, front and back, just like Jesus, Aurora Borealis, Jesus, Aurora Australis, Jesus. So you know who to worship and what name to thank when you're out there. Thank you, Jesus, for the Aurora Borealis. Thank you, Jesus, for the Aurora Australis. It's very sensual, it's very pleasurable. And don't go away, we're going to solve the Northern Lights in a second, God willing. It's, it, I, this, the scientific name is by far the most glorious, though. Um, that, this is a tougher nut to crack. I know light parallels um, Christ, and then Northern is a tougher nut to crack. I need to spend more time on that. Okay. But this, to me, is the official name. Uh, you go deep to get the, the, the glory. So, I, I think this is just amazing. And <clears throat> so, whew, lots of things to see that are obvious. Look, they end in U.S. This is the most obvious thing of all, is that let's do it green because they make a lot of green patterns in the sky. 
and Li both divide by 3, differing by 3, and they add to equal the U in Jesus. That is the most glaring thing of all, is that they end mathematically flawlessly like in Jesus. And then the A in front of them corresponds with this S, um, with, a, with an offset of 18, triple six. The J at the front differs by nine from the two A's. Um, then there's this slew of threes that are bonus threes. The E comes along, you know, if you want to look, the E comes along as either this B or the E de facto. Down here it is the T. Um, and then there's just all these multiples of three in between. So it's very obvious. The ending is, is the most glaring thing. So there you go. You can spend even, even more time in that. Um, and the more you look, the more you see. And then oh, Aurora equals Jesus, of course. And that is so amazing. And then Polaris, the North Star is one of my favorite gems. I'm curious if you can find Jesus in it. Oh yeah, here he is. He's right on the end. There's Jesus, right there. He's never far. And then, oh my goodness, find Christ. This is going to blow your mind. Polaris is like the most loaded name of all. And then find love in Polaris. Polaris is so perfect for, for God. There's your L-O, there's your love in Polaris. I've preached, and it's the letters that do divide by three. Polaris is probably one of my favorite words of all time. Because it's so epic in astronomy, it's so beautiful. It's the, it's the bullseye of the swirling stars in the northern hemisphere. Polaris, the northern star, the north star. And so there's your love in perfect symmetry. There's your Jesus right on the end. Now, here's your Christ also in a beautiful fashion. Just pop, you have to pop off 13 points. Well, the only way to do that is the, is the simplest equation to make 13 in life. 12 plus 1 equals 13. So, there's your Jesus. Okay? There's your Christ. And there's your love. These are the things God has been leading us to find. And like love, like in order. L-O-V-E. Christ in blue. Jesus in gold. Excuse me. Um, and uh, pretty, pretty glaring stuff. And now, I mean, you can do a letter by letter, you know, comparison between Jesus and, and, and these letters. Um, well, compare this A with, um, oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm going to do a uh, something kind of, yeah, you can break tradition. This A differs from the S by minus 18, but this O at the front equals the JE at the front here. 15, 15. <laughs> you know, um, and then this is so cool. This is so cool. I love that. We got equivalence there, and then look how cool this is. Because an AR equals an S. <laughs> That's so cool. So an AR equals this S right here. That's so cool. So AR equals the S right there. Final S equals the S right there. The O equals the JE in the front. And you know what's left. This LI equals the U in Jesus. So that was, that was awesome. Like we, we letter for letter found Jesus in Polaris. How about Christ? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty maximum, folks. There's your RIS on the end of this baby. And then a P must be, you have no choice but to just complete the rest. Like the, the remaining half of the letters in Christ add to the same value as P-O. Um, there's not much else to say. An O and a C are very similar. Like they differ by 12. And then a, a TH is 28 minus 16 differs by 12. So that is huge. Like that is so glaring. So the P versus the HT is 12 points. And then the O versus the C is 12 points in the other direction. <laughs> that is flawless. That is maximum. So that's glorious. So Polaris for Jesus was stunning. Polaris for Christ was stunning. And then Polaris for love, for love, I was preaching from the very beginning. It's the letters that do divide by three. 
making 27 there, 27 there, and then you get a 3 plus 1s that correspond with J-J-J-S-S, Jesus, so that it sounds like Jesus on your lips, Polaris, Jesus, um, to make add 36, you know, pure, pure sixes. Um, that, that is so glorious. Now, just, just for comparison's sake, to, to make the obvious correlation between those three letters, PAS, the plus ones, and JSS, just to state what those offsets are, uh, a P is greater than J by six, and then an A, it's all sixes. I've just been seeing all these sixes, and then there's zero. So there you go. Polaris, Jesus. Good. That was huge. Um, there's a lot of names of meteor showers that like divide by three and parallel Jesus and. The Geminids, like if you're an astronomer, you, you'll have all these things memorized, like the Geminids. The Geminids parallels Jesus. Very obvious. Oh my goodness. The Geminids. Let's solve the Geminids. This is so cool. So there's your JSS. There's your E in the right position. And then this corresponds to the U. Good night. Okay. Um. <coughs> Geminids, Jesus. The Geminids, just like the word meteors, just like the word showers, parallels Jesus. So thank Jesus for the Geminids. They they peak around December fourteenth. Um, and then you can you can solve the rest for love. Always find love, find Christ, and find Jesus. Um, that's so cool. All right, so we hit that one. Oh, so good. I think I'll take a short break and just rest in silence and see what I perceive next and then we'll probably be back shortly. There you go.